We have our happiness questions again. I love these things. First question. What's the best way you found to deal with criticism? Um, I guess it depends on who it comes from. If it's from somebody that I know and especially somebody that I care about and that I respect, um, I think you the best way to deal with it is to well allow them to speak their mind first and if you disagree with them you know say like okay let's agree to disagree which I actually did this very recently my best friend Bianca told me some stuff that I got actually quote very annoyed at and then I told her a few times like okay let's agree to disagree on this and she wasn't really listening to that which was kind of annoying me she's like but then afterwards I tried to sit there and be like okay does what she say have valid meaning um is it is it something that's true and I just don't want to, I don't want to face, um, and so by, by looking at it in a way that, you know, they're not saying these things to, well, I mean, most of the time they're not saying these things to hurt you, um, they're saying these things to help you or they're saying them because you, it's not something that you necessarily see yourself, um, that's usually if you look at it that way, that's a lot more helpful. And that's how I try to, I've been trying to do that more. Um, and, and not feel like I'm being, um, being judged or being, um, what's the word? Should I feel like I'm not being judged or feel like they're, they're attacking me? I try to um, be in a place of like neutrality um, and I guess openness to see like what lesson I can learn from what they say. But if it's from somebody that I don't know and they're just being mean, I try to blow it off. Most of the time I really do try to blow it off but sometimes I'll be a little bit hurt but I do think like okay well what they're saying usually it, it's more than projecting like their own feelings about themselves than it is like about me um so yeah the back of this one says criticizing others leads to less happiness with yourself and you know what here's the thing i feel like i'm actually i don't criticize people i think i'm pretty good about that Next question, if you were guaranteed to be 20% happier, could you give up TV forever? Hell yeah, I would. I barely turn on the TV as it is. I think I've been watching um, Once Upon a Time. I've gotten into that show recently. But other than that, I don't... Isis, what are you doing? Stop. She's like chewing the cards. Um, but other than that, I don't really watch TV, so that wouldn't be a big deal. This says, for every hour of TV we watch, our contentment with life drops. I did not know that. Last question. Which bad habits could you cut out that would help you sleep better? Um, you know, I wouldn't necessarily say that it's a bad habit, but drinking caffeine, like, afternoon... I'm one of those that if I have caffeine afternoon, I'm gonna be wide awake for the rest of the night. Um, that, and then, um, good habits. Probably, like, not going to bed at, like, a set routine time, um, every night. And then waking up at a set routine time every day, I'm sure that would help me sleep a lot better. But here's the thing, I already sleep very well as it is. So, that's not really something that I need to change. I mean, other than the not drinking caffeine after a certain time. But, I'm like, well, if I don't have anything to do the next day, then who cares if I 
if I'm awake until 4 o'clock in the morning like I was this morning. <laughs> I was like, okay, it's time to go to bed. And I was actually like thinking about it. Like, did I have caffeine today? And I didn't have any caffeine today, so, or yesterday. So I have no idea why I was up so late. I think I just got really into my book and wanted to read. So, this one says, get eight hours of sleep. <laughs> I definitely get at least eight hours of sleep. I'm good about getting enough sleep. I like my sleep. So, yep, yeah, here we go.